one morning in the telegraph I saw a small column and it was asking for road surveyors out in Saudi Arabia. So I rang up and got the application forms. And six months later, I had a call to go to London. And I went to London and they said they wanted me out there. So it was cup semi-final day. And uh, they asked me to come down. I went there and they said um, I was going to be working, well it was a German that was interviewing me, I would be working with a German company. I handed my notice in and I went out to Saudi Arabia on the 5th of June 1978 and I got off the plane in Jeddah at 7 o'clock in the morning and I thought I'd walked into an oven. That's um 10,000 seats grandstand we built in Jizan for the sports complex which consisted of two football pitches, tennis courts, a raised swimming pool which was raised off the ground because we were on marshland and they had to put 800 piles in there to support all the buildings. I worked on a road, two road projects. I worked on a um, barracks for the National Guard. And on that we had five mosques. We had four mosques for the troops and there was one main mosque. And uh, that was a big, big project that. Well, the thing was, I, the work was interesting. You would do, felt you were doing something. You were producing something and not pushing paper around, which was, I, I just, I do not like pushing paper around. Well, it was a lot hotter, much hotter. The um, temperature used to get up to about, I suppose, 35. But it's actually a place where I've felt the cold worse than ever because daytime temperature of 17 and a nighttime temperature of minus 7 for three nights. Couldn't sleep because of the cold, even though I had two electric fires on and three blankets on my bed. Now you wouldn't believe that, I know. The first sandstorm I endured was in Jeddah. I was busy by a bridge and suddenly it went very very hot and the next thing is there was swirling sand everywhere and we had to get out of the way. Another time <clears throat> I'd been down to the beach on a Friday which was the day only day off we had while we were there and uh, on the way back it hit a sandstorm and my windscreen was peppered with little holes. And the next thing is, I ended up in the mountains in a place called Taif. And I was working on a road project there, which was being constructed by Bin Laden Company. And I was up there for two years altogether. This young chap came up there, 21 year old, and we found out his name was Osama bin Laden. We were introduced to him. He was not a very friendly person because uh, normally they were very welcoming. But after a month, he suddenly disappeared. He was there on the Thursday. On the Saturday, we found out he'd taken all his money out of the company and departed. To Afghanistan. Well, you've got to know what they want you to, how they want you to behave. You don't go there and try and impose your will on them. Although they like to come here and uh, disobey what their their laws in our country, it doesn't mean to say that you do it over there. You see. <laughs> 